and got fixed. It was just a new battery it needed. The battery was absolutely dead. So that got fixed. Thank God. <laughs> I think we've just came into the services to use the toilet. Um, we've got all the bins. Bin. 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 Like how many bins do you need in the toilet? So we've stopped at Scotch Corner Services um, just to get something quickly to eat um, and also use the toilet. And as you've probably just seen in the wee clip, we went into the toilet and there was three big nappy bins, <laughs> another bin uh, next to the door, and Two other bins. another smaller bin next to the toilet, So, and it was quite a small toilet anyway, um, so obviously it, it was way too crammed. So I spoke to the cleaner who was just outside the toilet and I explained the situation, I just said like, is it possible to move the, the bins because there's way too many for one toilet, like three nappy bins, I don't really think that's needed. Just kept like shrugging her shoulders at me. Um, don't know if she really understood what I was talking about, but I did to go to the other accessible toilet and she was Walk moving the bins about. So yeah, I think she was moving the bins and I hope that she's understood what I've explained. The joys. Yeah, the joys, the joys, the joys. But yeah, we're fine. <laughs> Traffic, traffic, traffic. Mm -hmm. So it's to the book.
A gift. Yeah. A knife. Oh, it's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. Nice style. Mid Good bed height. The beer. Oh, yeah, so, so brush my teeth. Yay! <laughs> so we're staying in the Double Tree by Hilton at Sheffield Park. Um, we're staying here for two nights because we're going to see 1975 tomorrow. Um, but we thought, we did a, a little tour when we first arrived in the room but there's some cool little features in the room that we thought we'd show you. So we've got obviously the emergency cord next to the bed which is always good and it goes all the way to the floor which is amazing. And we've also got like the plug sockets next to the, the bed. Some hotels don't have these. Um, but obviously it's really good to have them um, beside the bed for charging like your chair overnight, your mobile or even like medical equipment um, which is really good. And there's also this little white um, like disc shape and it's like a vibrating thing so if you're an impairment that will vibrate in an emergency which is really cool. And it's got the connecting room next to us. Sounds like you've maybe got family staying or a carer. It's handy. Also like the bed underneath so if you travel with like a hoist there's loads of space under there. That's probably one of the best beds I've actually seen for space. Mm -hmm. Four inches. Four inches like yeah. So yeah plenty of space for getting a portable hoist under there. Yep. Which is cool. After 200 yards at the roundabout, take the seventh exit. We're getting followed. Where are we heading? Blow here. Out of the wind, preferably. <laughs> <laughs> here we are. Which way? We're in the ball. Where are we heading into now? Um, we're going to the Winter Gardens. Just over there. Yeah, up here. Yeah. Here we go. There's a snake. Look at the roof. Is 
it's like we're done, and we're out. Yeah. Yeah. We are at Chatworth's house in, I think it's Bakewell, Derbyshire. There it is, from the van, um, we'll zoom in. We drove like 30 miles, no 30 minutes, and it's freezing and it's freezing. Miserable. So. And it's gigantic, this place is huge, you would need like literally a whole day to look yeah. at it. So I think we're going to leave it today, it's way too cold to go out and Walk about because people are wearing like walking gear and all that, aren't they? Yeah, it would be a so, nice walk on a nice sunny day, but today, yeah. Yeah. so we got some photos and stuff. And yeah. I think we might head back into Sheffield, see what else there is, see if there's maybe like a museum we can go to before dinner and then the gig tonight. Yeah, okay. Yeah.
were just back from seeing the 1975 at the Sheffield Arena and it was... Mind blown. Yeah, like Unbelievable. one of the, Insane. the the best show that we've ever seen. Out this world. Seen. Energetic. Uh -huh. Like, just... Passionate. Emotional. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> um, we've seen them obviously two weeks ago in Glasgow and that was the first show of their UK tour and tonight in Sheffield was their last show of their UK tour and the difference in the energy and the emotion and the passion yeah. and excitement and just mm -hmm. Matt was super emotional just mm -hmm. could tell um, he had the whole arena absolutely it was like bouncing like Going no crazy. other like pff, out of hundreds of shows it's got to be like you said, the best show ever. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, so arriving at the arena was pretty smooth from our hotel. It was like 15 minutes drive or so. Um, we get there and parking also had the parking already included in our like ticket thing. So we go there and we asked for the red car park because that's what was on our ticket. Mm -hmm. And the steward tells us that there's, they don't do colours, there's no... It's only numbers here. Yeah, no no colours at all. Then as soon as I mentioned disabled, they're like, she's like... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. red disabled, we have yeah. have red disabled, yeah. And you go. You're like, what the... Yeah, we get in straight, like the parking for disabled, like right at the very front of the arena. So it was, it was perfect and straight in, up in the lift, and then we got to our seat. Um, uh, no, we didn't. <laughs> really, well, we had a little bit of an issue with our seats because we were in section 103, mm -hmm. spoke to the steward and basically every, there was people already sitting in that whole section. The whole thing was blocked off so we have a bit of an argument with the steward and, and then a couple of stewards actually and then she they were basically tells us to follow her up to block 105. A few sections away. A few, is, it was like the back of the arena. Which is further back of the arena mm -hmm. and we were like, no, that like our section is 103, that's what we've also paid for. And then the supervisor, he comes along and says, no, it's okay, that woman there, she's not meant to be sitting there. Yeah, so there was someone obviously in our seat that wasn't actually meant to be there, so, and she didn't want to move, she, yeah, she, she was, was refusing ref to move to begin with. Um, so drama. But then obviously the supervisor got involved and, and she moved and we, we got our, our seat. Probably we, one of the best arenas for access, like view-wise, way better than Hydro because when everyone stands, of course, like during all the big hits, everyone jumps up out. Yeah, they jump up and you end up getting a completely blocked, completely blocked view in the but, Hydro. Mm -hmm, but so it's not like that. Arena, yeah, the disabled spaces are actually a little bit higher up from the rows in front, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's always an, a clear view. Yeah. So it's awesome. First impressions of the Sheffield Arena. Really, really positive. Very, very good, and we would probably travel the five and a half hours. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. This Again, hotel was fantastic as well, so everything is good. If you're, you know, well, if you're in the area, I would definitely recommend this. Yeah, we'll it's, come back here as well, yeah. It's hugely spacious and, yeah, it's so. Lovely. Very, very nice. But I'm just going to have some tea just now and watch a little bit of telly before I get out of bed. And then we're going home tomorrow. And the camera battery's down, so we're going to yes, go. Yes, and the camera battery's down. So yeah, see you tomorrow.